things that are, are over there that you might be able to um, look at. But uh, I started this work, um, it was, I was invited to be a part of a group show to, uh, the pieces were all recycled, so it was like make things out of things that would be recycled to promote recycling in Oklahoma City. And um, I made a flag for off of a Whole Foods bag and uh, free people shipping, you know, just all this weird stuff. When I made it, I just went, oh, you know, <laughs> oh, I love that. So it just launched into this whole thing. Um, the piece down here at the end, uh, I made um, like right after Trump got elected. Um, and so many people were on social media just screaming, and um, I made that instead. Um, and it's got everybody's shoes on it, Republican, Democrat, Independent, you know, all age groups, just trying to um, do something positive and put positive energy into the world. That's definitely who I am as a person. I think America's worth fighting for. Oh, <laughs> I think there's so much good here. And I, when I drove um, across country with her flag, because I drove most of it, and I drove in order of ratification, so I would go from Maine to California, you know, it was just nuts. And um, I really got, like, understood how big this country is and what an unbelievable marvel it is. It's basically 50 countries, 50 separate countries that have agreed to kind of get along. Kind of. And that is miraculous. And I think as Americans, we don't really think about what a monster America is, how big it is. And yes, there's so many problems, but there's so many good things too. That is just like, oh, wow. You know, I think we gotta slow down and, and really look at, at all these things. And over the years of how, you know, Time isn't new now. There's always been things that have been a shit show. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's always that. So, you know, it's a hopeful trying to think of the flag and America as inclusive and for everybody and to try and get people to think about um, the flag and, and feminism and equality, um, using the flag as a vehicle for that. Most of the flags, let's just kind of go to one and we'll, we'll look through some of the stuff. So uh, all of the uh, materials are authentic, vintage, um, except these I had, this is fabric I had printed, but everything else is original material. I love, I don't like copies, I like to use the real thing. They're all sealed in an archival um, sealant, so all the precious things, you know, they're secured and you know not gonna fall apart um, there's always I think there's tape measure in almost every single flag and for me it's my subtle little feminist women have always been measured in a way that men have never been measured and there's lots of numbers in them and that's the feminist stuff too of thinking about how we're constantly measured in so many ways in our culture so that's what the numbers are all about when you see the cards and all that kind of stuff. Um, there's checks in some of them, cut checks. Of course, they're not gonna be any over here when I'm talking about it, that's the way it goes. Um, but when you find them, they may be in some, some of the resin pieces over here. I think they are more in the resin pieces. The checks, my, um, my husband, his uh, parents kept their clear checks for their American dream, their home. So when they passed away, I found this stack, and it was every single check they'd written for their house. Oh, no. And so they're, oh, this makes me, <laughs> so there are lots of those, and it's just buying their dream and, you know, all that. I haven't talked, like, in front of people about my work oh. in a while. <laughs> It's great. <laughs> Getting all it's emotional so, yeah, about it. Yeah. Um, let's see. There's just all, I love so ephemera. I love typography. I love drawing. And you know, the neat thing about having these three here is you can see the backs because the backs are as interesting as the fronts are. They have their own, you know, unique 
thing going on. Like, you know, the postcards here, like you can't see these beautiful the postcards because I, I love the typography. And there's lots of things that are over 100 years old in some of these things, which mm. I am just such a suffrage nerd and that time period just fascinates me. So I love having things that are over 100 years old where women didn't have right to vote. You know, when this, I think this came out, we couldn't vote. So that's always kind of an underlying thing with, within my work. Okay, and, I'm gonna shut up for a minute. No, I, I was going. Well, I was gonna ask you where you collect all of these things because yeah. um, all over the place, <laughs> all over the place. And it, the collecting of this is something. It's a language between my mother and I. It was like something we did together, and we still we don't do it as much anymore. But um, we would go hunting for all this stuff because we both just oh, love indeed. vintage mm -hmm. things and antiques and weird things and so yeah um collecting it is just such a, a love and a i've driven you know there was a weird period where i drove through the south alone because i'd never seen it and uh, i had to deliver a piece to atlanta and so i just got in my car and didn't really know what i was doing and uh, i would stop and go to antique stores and go in galleries and i just walk into a gallery and introduce myself and uh, it was a really neat experience. I had a lot of amazing conversations. Um, artists, uh, we always have these weird relationships with galleries. Like even, we're like, oh, you know, they're, it's just, we're intimidated. And even artists, it's like, what is going on there, you know? So I just would force myself to just go in and, and have conversations with people. So it was a lot of fun. So you want questions? How do you structure the pieces? You know, you find all these things, and how do you start? Yeah, so, um, you know, I'll decide what, what kind of, what size I'm going to do. I'll cut the vinyl, and then um, I'll just go through all of it. And it's usually the, um, this is usually the inspiration for, you know, like this I'll come up with, and then it's looking through all of my stuff and finding what, you know, what I'm, how what I'm feeling that day, or what's what's in the news that's driving me crazy, or you know, and just kind of put them together that way. And I machine stitch them first. Oh, that's so nice. I'll start at the top and machine stitch them. And uh, after I get them all machine stitched, then I go back and do all the hand stitching. So there's, you know, each stripe has hand stitching on it too. And then um, the resin ones, the resin ones are exactly these just put on a panel with resin on them. Okay. So this is exactly what those would look like if they weren't on <laughs> panels. Mm -hmm. And there are patterns on uh, the resin pieces on the backs. Um, I watch my mom, my grandmother, my aunt sew and make things. And so it's just part of that kind of love and tribute to them. Um, I don't like sewing straight lines, and it's very intentional that there's threads and there's mistakes and there's errors because that's what life is. It's a mess, and it's a beautiful, beautiful mess. So I love being very intentional with. Um, I know <laughs> when they, they were being installed, everybody's like, "Is that supposed to be like?" I'm like, oh. "Yes, leave that alone." <laughs> and then I love the <laughs> agitation it like trim that? triggers people. I find that fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Good they want to fix it. So it's me rebelling against like That's funny. my right. family members wanting, you know, precision with stuff. I'm like, no, this gal doesn't do precision. That's not how it is. Yes. Yeah, so you have the best titles. Yes. Uh, and, and they seem to bring they almost feel like a voice mm -hmm. um, that's like in conversation with the viewer and with the work. Can you talk a little bit about that relationship between text and you know the work and the idea of title? Yeah, I mean, the titles are almost as important to me as the work. Like when people say untitled on something, I just kind of want to punch them in the throat. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah. you I'm with you. don't yeah. get, you know, what yeah. are you doing? So, um, yeah, I love titling. I very much, you know, when I'm making the piece, I'm even thinking about that. It's not something that I tack on. You know, it's it's evolving as the piece is evolving. So yeah, I definitely, absolutely love um, coming up with with titles that are um, 
Let's have a little bit of an attitude. <laughs> so was her flag the first that you got into flags because you weren't not. originally. Yeah, okay. it was not. I had made some of these resin pieces I had made before I started her flag. So, um, yeah, it was when I realized that anniversary was coming up, I was like, a flag is the perfect right. because the suffrage fighters in DC would make a flag and they would put a star whenever a state ratified. So there, it was just such a, you know, yeah. And then, you know, I mean, we all have complicated feelings about the flag, you know, and it's been subverted in so many ways, even more so, you know, than, than normal over the last, you know, few years. So uh, I love taking things like that and layering on, because it just gets, there's so many feelings you have when you look at the flag. Right. So I love that. Well, even before the flags, it seems like uh, your subject was the feminine, feminism. I mean, it's the flag has added to it, but even before you started doing flags, the subject was... Yeah, I was using the universal woman image for yeah. a long, long time. I loved that, layering mm -hmm. that. I used mud, mud flap gal for a while, which was a lot of fun. <laughs> so, you know, I love doing those, taking things that people are just common and then... Playing with it, yeah. seeing what I can do with it. Mm -hmm. Great. Have you always come from a space of optimism, or at least in trying, like you were saying, the one flag you did in response to mm -hmm. so much negativity and trying to find that and through your traveling? I mean, you seem like a, a kind of person. Yeah. How has that maybe evolved through your travels, through yeah. historical things that are happening since you've started doing that? I I am someone who suffers from depression and I take care of myself. And um, I think having gone through that illness and dealing with it and surviving, um, it's, it gives me an appreciation. Um, and people that suffer um, from depression often, I think, have, you know, if you can get through it, you, you know, yeah, it's people you think, God, oh, they have so much joy. How do they have that ailment? And it's, Sometimes I think it's because of that, um, that you see how horrible it can be that, so I think that's part of where my optimism comes from. And I think it's just part of my DNA, it's just who I am. Um, and especially with politically what we've been through, it's pushed me even more, I think, to be like, I cannot, you know, I just cannot get on social media and slam people and complain and I just can't I I feel all of that but I don't feel like putting it into the world is m who my voice there's definitely many many artists that are doing a phenomenal job and they're comfortable being that sort of artist but it's just not my I hear a lot of artists talk about myself included that actually doing the work helps you with depression. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's what makes you, makes you sing. That's why I go for unreasonable deadlines. Yeah. Because it pushes me. Pushes right. <laughs> I mean, it's, yeah, right. I, I just think it's something we probably all have in common a little yeah. bit. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. So, any more questions? I, she needs to get you some take drugs. Of, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, heck yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, I, was thinking I probably got some. Of yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I sure do. I've got some old yearbooks. These are. Um, I'm not making any more flags. This is it. Oh wow. So I'm done. Okay. I I've done this. You know, oh. I've I've done so many iterations of the flag. Now I'm ready to do something different. So what's your next? So my son and I created a body of work. He had a horrible, horrible um, bout with mental illness, and um, it was awful. Um, and he was very, very sick for about a year. And he came home to live once he got out of the hospital. And he's amazing now. He'll be here tomorrow night. He's fantastic. But uh, when he came home from that hospital, um, he was compulsively drawing and writing poetry. And so, you know, we're trying to navigate how to talk to each other. And so I just took those drawings and we got them on canvas and just started making these pieces. 
and um, that process was very hard, but but also kept me busy. You know, I tried to not look at the image that I was depicting because they, a lot of them are very painful, hard. But I would just get nerded out in the sewing and the stitching and the painting and the collage and and not try and not think specifically about what I was doing. But those pieces absolutely healed the both of us. And that exhibition was at uh, the Tulsa Creativity Center. Um, it was just a little while ago, it wasn't that long ago. I really wanted that exhibition to be around college people, not in a, you know, I just wanted kids to see it and interact with it. Because mm -hmm. there's six pieces of what depression feels like visually, and then there's six of him healthy and feeling good again. And uh, we also opened it up, so there was an open call, so there were artists from all over Oklahoma that had depicted mental illness as well. So it was just such a oh, great show. Um, but he and I, I love collaborating with other people. It's my happy place. Um, and he and I worked so well together. I think we're gonna get back to making joyful work together yeah. and uh, see where that goes. Yeah. Um, so I'm very excited to, to get to work with him. See what we, see what we can do. Oh. Okay, well, thank you. We appreciate it. And thanks for coming and sharing all of this with us. And I think we'll share it with the rest space. of us. So I'm yeah. so glad to be here. Oh, it's just such it. a beautiful, beautiful gallery. And there have been so many gorgeous shows here. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So I'm just thrilled to be here. And we're excited to have you. And I can't wait for the public to see it tomorrow night. Yeah. It's going to be fun. It's important for people to know that this is the end of this. Yeah, yes, this is it.